Secretary. Chairman, good morning, Secretary. Good morning, um, Mr. Chairman. Back in December, uh, when you gave us evidence, we had heard a few days previously from Michelle Barnier, the European Commissioner's Brexit negotiator, it had been reported in the papers that he said once Article 50 is triggered, Britain would have just 18 months to negotiate its exit from the EU in order to give the EU institutions enough time to ratify the agreement. Yeah. Um, and when you gave evidence to us a few days later, you expressed confidence that Britain could meet that timetable. Do you still hold to that view? What you actually said to us was, Mr Barnier said 18 months, and I think it's all negotiable in that time. Does that, does that remain your view? Yeah, I think so, yeah. On the 15th of July last year, the Daily Telegraph reported that Theresa May, the Prime Minister, had said that she would not trigger the formal process for leaving the EU until there was an, a UK approach backed by Scotland. Have you reached a UK approach backed by Scotland? So should the committee take from your answer that as yet there has been no agreed UK approach backed by Scotland? No overall agreement? Not on, not on things like the single market. In terms of reference for the Joint Ministerial Committee. Are you familiar with those Secretary of State? I've read them. Yeah. Uh, they state that um, inter alia that the purpose of the um, of the Joint Ministerial Committee is to seek to agree a UK approach and objectives for Article 50 negotiations. Mm -hmm. Now, when do you expect the Joint Ministerial Committee? to reach agreement on a UK approach. Do you agree with me that in order for the Joint Ministerial Committee to reach agreement, it needs to meet? Are you aware and that it was cancelled this week without any prior consultation with any of the participants? I'm puzzled as to your evidence. Are you saying that there will be no meetings, no further meetings, with for the two weeks? Scottish Government and the Welsh Administration until such times as a Northern Irish no, administration has been formed. Is that your evidence? I the Prime Minister has made it clear that she wants to trigger Article 50 before the end of the month. Mm -hmm. When will the next meeting of the Joint Ministerial Committee be held? No, will one be held before the end of March? It there may not be any further meetings of the Joint Ministerial Committee before Article 50 is triggered. Is that the position? It Will the devolved governments be given any notice of the triggering of Article 50? I think uh, we will be having conversations with them beforehand. There will be a conversation with them beforehand. Both the Scottish Government and the Welsh Administration have produced detailed white papers about which this committee has heard detailed evidence. Does the British government intend to publish any response to these white papers? Do you intend to publish a response to the white papers produced by the Scottish and Welsh governments, yes or no? Like it or not, the Scottish government was elected on 46.5% of the um, vote of the Scottish people at the well. last election in Scotland and has produced a white paper. Hmm. I am simply asking you whether you are going to your government will do the Scottish and the Welsh governments the courtesy of producing a written response, not whether you agree with it, I'm sure there are many parts you disagree with, and I'm quite be very interested to know why, but I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about the people of Scotland. Will they be favoured with a written response to the detailed white paper produced by their government, yes or no? We are, are going to have to move on. Thank you very much.